Hi everybody, good morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning. So in today class, uh, we are going to create a service no instance. Okay, in yesterday class, so we have learned about why we have to use service now. Uh, we discussed about the different use cases. We discussed about different usages of service now. Okay. In today's class, first of all, uh, we will recap yesterday's class. After that, we are going to create a service now instance. Along with me, you have to create a service now instance. So after that, again, we will go for introduction. Okay. Yes. So I'm sharing my screen. So you can see guys, so yesterday we discussed about service now, basic things, okay? And we also covered silvers. So here you can see, uh, service now is a ticketing tool. Service now is a ticketing tool. Service now is started from 2004. Service now was invented by Fred Ludwig. When service now is started from 2004, and at that time we are calling service now is a ticketing tool, and it was invented by Fred Ludi. So basically, Fred Ludi was worked at BMC Remedy for 20 years. So after some after that, Fred Ludi was taken decision to develop a more advanced system to BMC Remedy. So that is service now. Service now is started from 2004 with the ITSM tool. So whenever service now is started, it started with ITSM tool. ITSM stands for 
information technology service management information technology service management so basically uh, whenever service uh, service now is started in 2004 it, it is used internally in the service now company okay it is used internally in the service now company so after some time service now company started giving service now tool to their customers okay so after some time so service now company started giving the service now tool to their customers basically they got good response from the customers they got good response from the customers so again service now started giving the service now tool to outside from december 2011 okay so initially service now came out with its module and we call it as a service now tool okay so after some time service now company started implementing with the different modules with the service now tool like itom itbm hrsd csm uh, ppm grcm secops like that okay so now we are calling as service now is a platform now we are calling it as service now is a platform okay this we discussed in yesterday class i have uh, written the content uh, in the notepad so uh, up to here you have any queries please let me know other shankababu so we have any queries up to here no it's clear okay fine so next we are going to create a service now instance so please send me uh one mail id so i require only one mail id so please send me so i will create a service now instance uh, in the class okay Yes, please. So here you can see guys, for creating a service now instance, first of all, you have to navigate to, you can type service now developer here. Okay, you can create a, you can type a service now developer here. Yes, once you click on the service now developer, you will get a first link, developer.servicenow.com. You can open this URL developer.servicenow.com okay yes i am opening this url wait it's loading so for creating Service now instance. Uh, navigate to this URL. Okay. Developer dot service now dot com. We have to navigate to developer dot service now dot com. Okay. I'm saving it. Next, you come here. So here you can click on sign up and start building. You can click on sign up and start building. Yes, I'm clicking on sign up and start building. Uh, so I haven't received uh, any mails from you. Uh, so please send me uh, one email in the Zoom chat. Yes, I received from Anka Babu. That's fine. Okay. So maybe I'm copying this mail ID. Copying it. So... I'm saying, I think I received from Ankababu only. Yes. Okay. So here I'm saying Ankababu name. So here I'm providing my ID. Here I'm providing my ID. So country I'm selecting India. So password, guys, everybody uh, will use some Uniqlo password. That is T-R-A-I-N-I-N-G at the data of 123. So in further classes, 
if we get any issues so easily connecting with me this password will helpful for us okay so everybody please everybody maintain unique password that is training at the rate of one two three t is capital letter okay training at the rate of one two three so here we have to select i'm not a robot next we have to select uh, uh, this check box for the agreement and i'm clicking on the sign up okay guys please try to uh, create service now instance along with me if possible i will go slow here okay so along with me please create service now instance yes uh, once we fill all these details we have to click on sign up yes, so i'm clicking on sign up yes it's loading uh once uh once once we click on once we click on sign up once we click on sign up so you will receive a one email from service now okay once you click on sign up you will receive a one email from the service store saying that verify email address uh, yes anka babu uh, you can see uh, your inbox uh, e email inbox you you received a one email saying that verify email Yes, Anka Babu, are you received email? Hello. Give me one minute, Anji. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I it, will... yeah, okay. If it's possible, are you able to share your screen? So others are also able to see how the mail looks like. Oh, okay, no issue. I am I am trying to uh, open the my Gmail account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, you can open your Gmail account. And once if you found the mail received from the service now you can share uh, that screen with our classmates okay? okay they will also see how the mail looks like uh, guys meanwhile if you have any queries please ask me if you have any queries please ask me meanwhile and from yesterday Hello. class whoever shared the details uh up to 11 a.m yesterday so i have shared the google drive link class notes on silver copy okay whoever shared the your details to my mail id after 11 a.m i haven't forwarded so after today's class i will forward the uh yesterday class notes silver copy and today's class notes okay don't worry and still somebody not share your details to my mail id please share your details to my mail id so my mail id is service now training 2018 at the rate of gmail.com this is my mail id okay you have to send your details like name email mobile qualification working status and how do you know about this training okay i'm copying this to zoom chat Yes, somebody asking something. Yes, please tell me. Hello. Yes. Yes, uh, actually, a day to day, you will assign some assignments to, to us. Yes, yes, definitely. I will. Yes. Uh, day to day or uh, weekly, once you will assign? Uh, generally, uh, I will assign day to day only, okay? So, not okay, now. Okay. Once, once, we, uh, once we started uh, doing practical things in the class, so I will assign uh, assignments day to day. Okay. 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 So up to ITSM, it is a theory part. Once ITSM is completed, we'll get the assignments and all. Okay. Okay. And uh, one more thing is like these assignments uh, will replicate uh, real time, right? Real time work, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. So yeah. yeah, whatever the use cases we are discussing in our classes, we did in the real time. 
Ya, okey, okey. Yes. Uh, yes, thank you, Babu. Have you uh, opened Gmail and uh, are you able to share your screen? Yes, and one minute. I am trying to open my Gmail account. Uh, oh. This uh, hibernate. Yeah. Yeah, okay. One I'm minute. stopping. I'm stopping my screen share. You oh. can share your screen. So all everybody will see your screen. Okay. Uh, Anu Shivani, yes. So, if training at the rate of one to three is not taking uh, password, is not taking, maybe you can use like admin at the rate of one to three in capital letter. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, you have to use some easy passwords because of in further classes. Well, I required our service law instances for explaining few concepts. And if you get any issues uh, with the homework or task assigned to you, so I, if I want to open your instance, so it is easy for me. Okay, if it is a unique password. Okay. Yes, Sankar Babu, please share your screen. Yes, Sanjay, I am sharing my screen. Okay. Okay, so you can open your Gmail account. Anji, good morning, Anji. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, Uncle Babu, why uh, you are entering everything here? You haven't. Yeah, actually, I am not using this account. Uh, that's why I have forget. Okay, but then why you have given uh, your account? So, first of all, you can do all these things, and uh, once you open, uh, yeah. Okay, guys. So meanwhile, uh, I will start with the introduction. Uh, I will start with the versions of service law instance. Okay. Uh, for that, I have already prepared the document. Okay. Yes. So you can see why we have to use service law. Why we have to use service law? Yes. In yesterday class, we discussed few examples. Continuation to that. Continuation to that. ServiceNow is an integrated cloud solution which combines all the services in a single system of record. All the services in a single system of record. ServiceNow is an integrated cloud solution which combines all the services in a single system of record. All the services in a single system of record. ServiceNow is an integrated cloud solution which combines all the services in a single system of record. So it supports as pass and SaaS infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service. It will support these three terminologies from the cloud technology. Okay. Service now is the, yes please. Yeah, uh, uh, email is ready. Uh, reported. Okay. Then you can share the screen. Okay, so here you can see, guys, once you sign up, once you sign up, you will get a email like this. Okay, you can scroll up, Uncle Babu. You can scroll up, scroll up. No, no, no. Yeah, so you can see, you will get mail from sign on at the rate service now.com. Subject contains. Verify your service now ID. Okay. So in the mail, you will see the one email link or email button saying that verify email. Now you have to click on the verify email. Yes, you can click on verify email. Yes. When you click on the verify email, it will show some thank you message. Okay. So your email has been verified. Please check, click below to log into the application. 
okay then you have to click on login okay yes you can click on login yes uh, from this screen onwards i will explain in my my screen okay yes i'm sharing my screen anka babu you can stop sharing screen okay yes yes uh, once again we will create service to instance and we will get back to this page okay yes now again i am closing all the tabs now again i am coming to the developer.servicenow.com developer.servicenow.com okay previously we have to done sign up and start building because of we don't have any service now account as of now okay now i am clicking on sign on sign in now i am clicking on sign in okay yes so now we can see you have to enter the email id and then you have to enter the password <clears throat> wait it's loading so password should be training at the rate of 1 to 3 please maintain uh, everybody like training at the rate of 1 to 3 only because of we don't have any personal information on this okay whenever uh, i have to connect with your service now instances it is easy for me okay and even in the further classes i required your service now instances and even if you get any issues if i want to connect with service now instance if it is a unique password it will help you for me okay then i am signing in so you can see i am signing in whenever you click on sign in it will ask for two questions first question is do you code yes first question is do you code yes we have to select yes i need a developer oriented ide and i'm going to next describe uh, what best describe your job responsibilities i am a developer i am a designer i am a it admin we have to select these three options okay after that we have to we have to read the agreement from the service now website yes i read and uh, i am clicking on the check box you can click on the finish setup okay finish setup yes once we click on the finish setup here it will ask it will show two options here start building request instance you can click anywhere even from if you want to click start building yes you can click otherwise if you want to click request instance you can click there yes now i am clicking on request instance okay now i am clicking on request instance here you can see here we have rome version available here we have sandigo version available here tokyo version also available you can select yuta version okay you can select yuta version this should be pronouncing as yuta okay this version name should be pronouncing as yuta so here you can see when we click on when we click on this yuta version it is redirecting to the docs.servicenow.com docs.servicenow.com okay uh, so that's why we have to select the uh, very latest version that is uh, tokyo here they 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 have given only uh, here we have given only uta version for the release uh, release notes okay and they they are not saying uh, any instance available okay till again i am clicking on yuta version okay i will try to click on the request so here you can see uh, le basically latest version is yuta latest version is yuta and previous version is tokyo we will discuss all these versions uh, uh, in few minutes okay yes i am selecting yuta here one minute again i am clicking on yes right yes again i am clicking on here so i'm selecting yuta version yes yes i clicked on the yuta version and i'm clicking on the request once once you you selected the version once you selected the service now instance version once you selected the service now instance version within fraction of seconds it will give you a service now instance it will give you a service now instance 
maybe wait for one or two minutes uh, we will get a service to instance details so you can see yes it's already uh, it's already there so you can say release version is utah and it's installed successfully then you have to click on the start building then you have to click on the start building so you can see yes this is uh, our service now instance id this is our service now instance id okay this is our service now instance id it's loading Uh, guys, if anybody uh, facing any issues with creating service no instance, please let me know. I will help you in the class. Okay. Wait, it's loading. So whenever whenever you are opening service on instance first time, you will get enable analytics. You can click on agree. Okay. So after that, uh, it will show some tour kind of thing. Okay, work your way, saying some so the how the menus looks like and it will show like that. Okay. So here you can see if you want to pin the menus, we have to here you can see the image. It is saying how to pin a menus. Yeah, we will discuss all these things next. So you can see menus got it okay finally this is our service no instance finally this is our service no instance yes i hope everybody created service no instance along with me if anybody not created your service no instance please create service no instance within the class okay If anybody not created service no instance, please create service no instance. I will wait for one or two minutes here. Uh, guys, is everybody created service now instance? So I move. I hope everybody created service now instance. So next, I am going to uh, introduction of service now. Next, I am going to introduction of service now. So here you can see why we have to use service now. Service now is an integrated cloud solution which combines all the services in a single system of record. Single system of record. Okay. So basically, service now is a cloud solution. And we can build a all kind of applications within the service now. Okay. And it will support infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service okay so if we are taking service now instance we don't require to uh, create any infrastructure within our organization okay 
So if we are taking service now instance, we don't require to create a create and install all the softwares related to service now within our organization. All these it will take care by the service now company itself. All these it will take care by the service now company itself. Software as a service. So, so we will use this software as a service within URL. Okay. So service now company take care about the infrastructure and platform, and they will host our service now instance in their locations and they will simply uh, provide a URL. Okay, by using URL, we will access the service now. That should be called a software as a service. Okay, guys, yes. What is service now? So what is service now? Okay. Service now is an IT management platform that allows organizations to manage all aspects of their IT infrastructure, including asset management, IT service management, and CMDB management of IT assets and devices. It also specializes in ITSM, ITOM, and ITBM. Okay, yes. This is the service now definition. So generally, if you are going to the interviews, they will not ask for this kind of definition. Okay. Uh, so whatever the questions they are planning to ask you, yes, they will ask. If you are not able to answer for those questions properly, if you are not able to answer for those questions properly, then only they will go to the, the this kind of basic questions like what is service now, this kind of questions they will ask. Okay, yes. Service now definition. Service now is an IT management platform that allows organizations to manage all aspects of their IT infrastructure, including asset management, IT service management. Uh, in IT service management, we will get the applications like incident management, problem management, change management okay and cmdb management of it assets and devices it also specializes in itsm itom and itbm okay so i am repeating one more time service now is an it management platform that allows organizations to manage all aspects of their it infrastructure including asset management IT service management, CMDB management of IT assets and devices. Okay. It also specializes in ITSM, ITOM, and ITBM. Okay, guys. So if you are talking about any organization, IT, uh, any organization, if we are talking about any organization from that, Service now will help us in IT field. From the, the industry, service now will help us in the IT industry. Service now will take care of and service now will store the information about the assets and devices and their relationships. Assets and uh, assets and devices and their information. Okay. Yes, this is service now definition. Next, uh, if you have any queries from service node definition, please let me know. No, okay, fine. Next, so service now was found in 2004. We already discussed yesterday class and today early class also we discussed. Service now was founded in 2004 and stepped foot into the ITSM, yes. Service now started with ITSM tool. ITSM stands for Information Technology Service Management and provided competition to established players like IBM and HP. Okay, here we can say IBM and HP are the competitors for service now. 
okay we will note down who are the competitors for service now okay so you can say bmc remedy next jira ibm hp okay we have many we have many uh, applications like this okay mainly these are the competitors for subvista bmc remedy jira ibm and hp are the competitors for subvista okay yes next again i am going to uh, document so you can see service now was founded in 2004 and stepped foot into the its field and provided the provided competition to established players like ibm and hp service now founder was fred ludi service now founder was fred ludi yes basically uh, in the initial days in the initial days service now was developed with service now was developed with java technology or java language and use web server is apache tomcat server apache tomcat server and databases are used like sql mysql and varacle databases okay so initially service now was developed with a java language varacle database and apache tomcat server okay guys yes basically our service now is a java application the service now application was built by java programming got it everybody is Uh, yes guys so somebody please respond so yeah. then i will move on to the next topics or i will clarify your queries based upon your yes. response okay yeah fine so next so what are the modules in service now what are the modules in service now so we have many more modules in service now from that i have mentioned few modules here we have many more modules in service now from that i have mentioned few modules here itsm information technology service management itsm information technology service management itom information technology operational management itom information technology operational management itbm information technology business management information technology business management ppm project portfolio management project portfolio management itam information technology asset management information technology asset management hrst human resources service delivery hrst human resource service delivery grc governance compliance and risk grc governance compliance and risk performance analytics csm customer service management security operations fsm field service management marketing and sales marketing and sales okay these are the few modules in service now okay itsm information technology service management itsm will help us for creating a ticket when we get any issues okay itsm will help us in different aspects from that if we get any issues in our organization for tracking that issues for resolving that issues itsm will help us and if you want any content if you want any information related to any configuration item within your organization that means any software or any device 
information if you required yes by using its model we can gather it okay itom information technology operational management so basically itom will help us for populating the organizational data to cmdb tables populating the organizational data to the cmdb tables for example if we are talking about one organization within the organization we have laptops desktops uh, we have projectors we have uh, different kind of applications different kind of su su uh, subscriptions taken from the th from third party application different softwares installed in our mobiles or laptops okay all these information will auto populated by using the itom module okay yes next itbm information technology business management information technology business management Be generally itbm module will be used by the managers product owners service owners okay so itbm module will help us to monitor the uh, business to monitor the business like how many projects are running so what are the projects in green color red color or yellow color how the budget allocation is looks like and all these discussions will happen with itbm okay ppm project portfolio management ppm always help us to work with the projects for example if we are talking about one project one project is came to our organization yes how many resources we have to allocate how how the resources we have to allocate like uh, for example we have senior resources team leads managers uh, junior resources like that right so in the ppm we will discuss uh, how many senior resources we require for the project, how many junior resources we require for the project. So resource allocation and the budget allocation for each resource. Okay. And how the project is going on. Like it is uh, up to level or any up and downs we have with the project. We will discuss all these with PPM module. Next, ITAM, information technology, asset management. Information technology asset management okay fine so basically with the asset management we will discuss about the financial values of the assets in the organization financial values of the assets in the organization like here we will discuss what are the configuration items configuration item means application or software or device is in the organization okay yes I asset management will discuss about those things. Next, HR as the human resource service delivery. So if we have any HR related task, yes, we have to use HR as the module. GRC, governance, complaints and risk. So if we have any issues with some third party systems like vulnerability management system or for example, if we are using printer, maybe sometimes we will get error. We are using some projector, sometimes we will get some errors. So all these will take care by the GRC, governance, complaints and risk. Okay, next, performance analytics. If we want to create any reports or dashboards for our organization, we have to use the performance analytics. CSM, customer service management customer service management so uh, if you want to uh, work with customers for example every organization have their own customers okay if the customers are facing any issues or uh, if, if you want to deal with customers yes we have to use customer service management next security operations in our service now whom can see the data how they can see the data will take care by the security operations that means uh, next fsm field service management for example we have purchased some large amount of uh, machinery for our industry okay so something was broken within our machinery for example 
So if we want to, we want to resolve that missionary related issue. It's not possible for us to bring that missionary to that support center. FSM means field service management. That support guys will came to our location, will resolve the our issues. Okay. For th this kind of interactions, we require FSM. Next, marketing and sales. Marketing and sales. Uh, so both are similar. So for example, if we want to uh, advertise uh, any products or services within the uh, social media or whatever it may be. For that, we will use marketing and services. Oh, yes. From this, guys, we will discuss ITS module. After that, we'll go through the administration and development. Okay? Yes. Uh, from the modules, if you have any queries, please let me know. Here, uh, we go to learn only ITS module, right? Uh, yes. So basically, if if uh, if you are the beginner to service now, if you are new to service now, okay. First of all, we have to learn ITS module along with the administration and development. You are a beginner, you have to learn ITSM. Along with ITSM, you have to learn the administration and development. Okay. If you want to move on to a real time as a service now developer. Okay. So if you are planning to move on to a service now administrator, yes, you have to learn ITSM and administration. Got it? So once you are working with this ITSM module within the within the organization. If you have any requirement with other models, okay, other models, they will give training and they will push you onto the project related to this particular models. And in the beginning, while learning the service now, as a beginner, we don't require remaining models. Got it? Got it, Andy. Thanks. Yes. Yes, guys, any queries, please let me know. Can you tell me once again about IT asset management? Uh, so basically, uh, IT asset management deals with the assets available in the organization. It may be devices, it may be applications, it may be software. Okay. And along with this, it also deals with the goodwill on the our organization. Got it? Okay. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, could you elaborate with an example, please? For example. For IT, yeah, asset management. Yes, for example, we have IBM. We have IBM. So IBM contains, IBM have different uh, buildings in different locations. Buildings in different locations. IBM have their maybe their own buildings. IBM have their own inf own infrastructure. IBM have uh, IBM have their own goodwill. Okay, we can say goodwill. Within the IBM, we have different up IBM using different applications. IBM using different softwares. IBM using different devices. Okay, so ITSM IT sorry ITAM deals with all these things and it will capture the information about all these assets got it yes or no okay yeah, fine yes so if we go to the deep drive into ITAM we have many things uh, like like ITAM we have other models right we go to the each and every module individually into deep drive. So we have a lot of things we'll discuss. Okay. Yes. Next, I'm move on to the service now versions. Okay. I move on to the service now versions. So you can see. 
I'm increasing my screen size. So you can see these are the service now versions we have. These are the service now versions we have. Okay. These are the service now versions we have. So you can see Aspen, Berlin, Calgary, Dublin, Eureka, Fuji, Geneva, Helsinki, Istanbul, Jakarta, Kingston, London, Madrid, New York, Orlando, Paris, Quebec. Rome, San Diego, Tokyo, Utah. Utah is our latest version. Utah is our latest version. Okay. Uh, and remaining two versions are uh, upcoming version. Remaining two versions are upcoming versions. So you can see, you have to say if anybody asks about versions, uh, what are the service now versions? Okay. You have to say A for Aspen, B for Berlin, C for Calgary, D for Dublin, E for Eureka, F for Fuji, G for Geneva, H for Helsinki, I for Istanbul, J for Jakarta, K for Kingston, L for London, M for Madrid, N for New York, O for Orlando. P for Paris, Q for Cubic, R for Rome, S for San Diego, T for Tokyo, U for Utah. You have to say like this. Okay. So generally, a service no versions are, you can say, country names. Service no versions are country names. And you can say, most of service no version names are European country names. European country names. Okay. Most of the service now versions are European country names. Service now versions are country names. And most of the service now versions are European country names. Got it, everybody. So here you can see, I will say all these versions one more time. So A for Aspen, B for Berlin, C for Calgary, D for Dublin, E for Eureka. F for Fuji, G for Geneva, H for Helsinki, I for Istanbul, J for Jakarta, K for Kingston, L for London, M for Madrid, N for New York, O for Orlando, P for Paris, Q for Cubic, R for Rome, S for San Diego, T for Tokyo, U for Utah, U for Utah. Mostly this Utah version uh, we'll, we get this Utah version for the our organizations by March 2023. By March 2023. We are in February. Maybe March 2nd week uh, like that. Uh, Utah version got released. Got it everybody? Yes, indeed. Yes. So here you have any queries from these versions, please let me know. Uh, guys, everybody has to learn all these versions. Okay, like uh, in our childhood, we have learned A, B, C, D, like A for Apple, B for Bell, sorry, A for Apple, B for Bat. Like that, you have to read these versions. Then you will, uh, you will get easily. Okay, even in interviews, they will ask, what are the versions we have in service now? Okay, you have to say all these version names. Okay, actually it is easy. So if you practice for two, two or three times, uh, it is easy with alphabet. It is in alphabet order from A to Z. Okay, next, uh, here you can see I also mentioned release year, when it is released, like December 2011 is asking. So our Tokyo was released in September 2022. Okay, like that. And in interviews, in interviews, they will ask one more question. One more question. What are the versions you work for from service now? What are the versions you work for in service now? For example, you are going as a fresher. For example, you are going as a fresher. Okay. Yes. Maybe uh, your training will complete in uh, April last week or May first week. Okay. So at that time, we have latest version is Utah. Okay. Yes. 
you will uh, you have to say uh, uh, i have idea about utah tokyo san diego you may have uh, seen about these three versions okay for example for example you are going to the interview with three years experience three years experience from now for talking about three years experience uh, maybe 2020 march 2020 okay yes sir no yes yes so, yeah march 2020 so and what are the versions you worked on if they ask this question uh, so you may have chance to work with from madrid version madrid version you work for madrid new york orlando paris cubic rome san diego tokyo now utah got it how you have to answer if somebody asks you so whenever uh, somebody asks and what are the versions you work on based upon uh, you are starting with service now based upon starting date with service now. you started with service now uh, at that time whatever the version we have so you have to answer from below two versions onwards got it yes or no for example for example somebody uh, say for example i started working with service now from 2018 I, I will say i started working with service now from 2018 then what are the versions i may work with tell me guys from istanbul istanbul jakarta kingston london madrid new york orlando paris cubic rome san diego tokyo utah there may be a chance with or there may be a chance for working with these versions got it everybody how to answer for this question so whatever the year you started with service now uh, you can also say previous year service now version okay so from the service now uh, it is available for suffer from the service now lay uh, always latest to three versions are available always latest to three versions are available now you can see while creating a service now instance we have seen the we have seen the versions like utah tokyo san diego rome okay in the screen yes or no got it guys everybody yes or no yes sir. okay yes then next i'm going to the environments next i'm going to the environments so you can see if we go to the any organization if you are working for any technology if you are working for any organization or any technology we have few environments we have few environments development environment testing environment production and environment like staging and environment uat and environment sandbox and environment we have many more environments available within the organization so here we are talking about basic things okay we are talking about only three environments here we are only talking about three environments one is development environment second one is testing environment and third one is production environment okay yes for example any work is assigned to us one ticket was assigned to us okay work is assigned to us so that work is assigned assigning to us from the production environment okay from the production environment work will assign to us okay guys got it yes in the production environment work will assign to us once the work is assigned to us once the work is assigned to us so we have to develop a logic 
or functionality in the development environment. Okay. Once the ticket is assigned to us, so we have to develop a logic or functionality in the development environment. Once you finish development of that particular ticket or work assigned to you, you have to move that work to the testing environment. That work you have to move to the testing environment. Once you move to the testing environment, testing team uh, will take the decision whether you have developed functionality correctly or not. If they feel everything looks good, then they will provide the sign off, testing sign off. Okay. Then after you have to move your work to production. Then after you have to move your work to production. Got it? Here Got you have it. yeah, any queries, please let me know. Any queries here? So every organization, every software, every technology, we have different environments. From that, mainly we have development environment, testing environment, and production environment. Okay. So tasks or any work assigned to us from the production environment. Any work from a from uh, any work to any work will assign to us from the production environment. We will implement, we will develop, we will build a functionality or logic in the development environment. Once our development is completed, we will move our work to testing environment. Finally, testing team will provide the sign off. Once the testing team provided the sign off, we will move our work to production environment. Okay, we will move our work to production environment. Yes, you have any queries, please ask me here. This not only for service now, this environment, it's for every, every software. Okay. Okay, fine. Next. So you can see how our service now instance format looks like. So this is our service now instance environment. This is our service no instance environment. Okay. So you can see. This should be called as instance name. This should be called as instance name. This is an instance name. Okay. So this should be called as instance name. Our service no instance should be like, like this. Instance name dot service iPhone now dot com. Service iPhone now dot com. Got it, everybody. Viral https colon slash slash some instance name starts with dev dot service hyphen now dot com. Got it, everybody. Instance URL. So if it is a real time instances, if it is a real time instances, it should be like https colon ht one net ht t yes colon slash slash company dot service iphone now dot com okay it is a production environment looks like this prod okay same so development environment looks like company dev we can say dev okay so this is a dev environment okay dev environment so like test environment Company test. Okay. The environments looks like this. Okay. Test. Got it, everybody. How the service now instance URL looks like. And I will show you a few service now instance URLs also. In real time, few service now instance URLs also. I will show you. So everybody got it. How service now instance URLs looks like. If it is a development environment, after company name in the service now instance, we have dev keyword. If it is a test environment, we have test. If it is a prod environment, we have company name dot service hyphen now dot com. Got it? Yes. Okay, fine. Now we are going to see few company names here from here. 
one minute I'm closing all the tabs here. For example, uh, for example, I'm going to see some uh, maybe IBM service now instance. I'm planning to see IBM service now instance. So you can see you can type like this IBM iPhone service iPhone now dot com. Then it will open IBM service now instance. So you can see it is redirecting to IBM service now instance login page. Got it? Everybody got it? Yes or no? Yes. Hello? Okay. And so basically every, every application in the organization have some third party sign it. Okay. Every application in the organization have some third party sign it. Okay. So I will show you this IBM instance again. IBM dot service com slash I'm saying login dot do it will go to the our service now instance login page instead of redirecting to third party sign in page. So you can see it looks like this. So you can see got it everybody. Yes, sir. No? Yes. Okay. Next for example, IBM dev dot service iPhone now dot com. Wait. So you can see it is redirecting to somewhere. Wait, it's loading. Yes, again it is redirected to third party sign in page. You can see IBM dev iphone.com slash login dot do. You can type like this. Okay, this is dev environment uh, if you are like this for example test also you can check ibm test at service iphone now dot com i'm also saying login dot do right it's loading got it how the company urls looks like from the service now Hello. Yes, okay. Next, for example, I'm going to another organization. Uh, we can say C O G N I J K N D dot service iPhone now dot com. So you can see how it looks like. So you can see. Next, uh, TCS dot service iPhone now dot com. So we can try another Infosys dot service iPhone now dot com. So thanks. All are loading. Okay. Next. Uh, we can say Adani. We have Adani. Adani dot service iPhone now dot com. It is redirected to you know, some third party page. We can see next. Mm. DHL. I think everybody know this. Uh, courier service something. Service iPhone now dot com. Oh. Guys, and few service now instances will open within their environment only. Okay, few service now instances will open within their in uh, their environment only. Okay, for example, if we are if we are giving the page like this, that means this URL may or may not exist. If it may exist, may within their environment we can able to access. Got it, everybody. Yes, we are able to access within their environment if it is exist. If it is not exist, that's fine. Next, you can say, for example, Deloitte, you can say, T E L O I T T E dot service iPhone now dot com slash login dot do. No, it is also not coming. Uh, one minute, Deloitte US, we have, uh, we will type like this. 
yes we have done at us service no instance next wipro wipro dev dot service ifnow.com i'm checking for development environment login dot two no wait i will say wipro dev to something like that it's loading yeah maybe uh it is open uh, within their instance uh, their environment are it may be a different uh, uh instance name they used maybe like wipro one wipro two like that also they will use no okay fine we have xerox xcrox dot service iphone now dot com so you can see yes we have xerox url so the format should be like this service no environment format should be like this okay service no environment format should be like this got it everybody yes yes okay that's fine next i have mentioned some useful links to learn service now okay i have mentioned some useful links to learn service now so you can see service now community service now developer portal service now product documentation service now app showcase service now product lab service now app store so these are the few uh, websites for learning the service now. These are the few websites for learning the service now. Got it, everybody? Yes. And we have service now developer meetup. So generally, service now has doing one program called as meetup. Okay. If we go to the this meetup website, you will find the meetup program in with each and every location for hyderabad location we have one meetup service now meetup group for uh, bangalore for chennai for noida for pune for coimbatore so we have uh, separate service now developer meetup groups are available for every three months or for every six months uh, within the service now company are are outside the service now company okay outside of service now company uh, like in uh, hall function halls or in restaurants or uh, within the service now company conducts the service now meetups service now meetups there we will uh, there we will gather group of people from service now domain working with service now domain and they will discuss something about uh, latest uh, trending technologies uh, from the service now and uh, latest version uh, release notes and all they will discuss and they will have it some uh, lunch and they will go home next we have service now snug groups so service now snug groups uh, like it is a it uh, service now snug groups contains the group of people working on the service now okay next for learning service now, we have two portals. There are two service now learning portals. One is now learning. This is the latest website given by service now. Previously, we use Saba Cloud. Even now also Saba Cloud opening. And finally, it will redirect to the now learning portal only. Okay. If you want to do the, if you want to learn any courses, uh, if you want to learn any functionalities, yes, you can go to the now learning website and you can take the course and you can learn it. Okay, next. From service now, for learning service now, few YouTube channels also will help us. Like service now support, now support, service now, now community, service now dev program. Okay, all these websites all these youtube channels will help us for learning service now 
whatever the useful links I have given, all these are service now authorized websites. All these are service now authorized websites. These you these URLs will help us for learning a service now. Got it, everybody? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So uh, first of all, I will take attendance. Okay, I will take attendance for one minute. Uh, SKS and if anybody is still not shared your details, if anybody is still not shared your details, so please share your details to my mail ID. That is service now training 2018 at the rate of gmail.com. Service now training 2018 at the rate of gmail.com. So that I will share daily class notes. Uh, any word documents I have explained in the class, daily class recorded videos I will share. Okay. Yes. You have to share your details like name, email, mobile, qualification, work status, and reference. How do you know about these trainings? You have to share these details. Again, I'm copying this content in Zoom chat. Please go with this. If anybody not shared your, uh, your details, so please share with me from by using service now training 2018 at the rate of gmail.com. Okay. So in yesterday, whoever shared your details up to 11 a.m. I have already forwarded class notes, recorded video link, and all. So after that, whoever shared, I will share the uh, I will share the content today. Okay. Yes. Uh, so please share your details be, uh, before 11 a.m. Then you will get uh class today's class notes and recording today itself otherwise you have to wait for tomorrow okay and in today class i observed that so so many members joined late so many members joined late please try to join everybody at 6 a.m i will start the meeting exactly at 6 a.m every day okay i will start the meeting exactly at 6 a.m every day so please try to join as early as possible within one or two minutes maybe you everybody has to join within six or six one six two okay yes then we will start learning or explaining the service now early like waiting for five minutes six minutes we will avoid that waiting period you can avoid the waiting period you can join as early as possible. Okay. And whatever the content I am giving in the class, you have to learn at home. Okay. You have to learn at home. So you already opted for learning service now. And you are waking up early and attending for the classes. So please concentrate on the classes. Please learn the please learn the everyday content please don't postpone for practice like yes we will practice this session tomorrow you don't think like that so if i have completed some class today yes you have to practice that today itself even you have busy schedule please at least make one or two hours time for service now trainings then you will learn service now better and you will get job as early as possible. Okay. Yes, guys. So, so okay. And you're gonna send the recordings by eleven. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I will send it by eleven. So actually, uh, from the Google Drive, I faced some issue. So, okay. so that's why uh, I haven't shared uh, uh, Google Drive video to somebody. Okay. Yeah. I'm just after asking. You know, till what time so that we can able to look after. 
look after this recording yes, yes. it's not like the it's not like that based upon my available time i will upload the videos sometimes i will upload the videos immediately to the class after the class or sometimes it may be late also okay okay no problem okay. you can uh, expect within 24 hours you will get videos okay okay yeah thank you all thank you so much uh, 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 one doubt okay uh, yeah, yes, everyday ma'am. classes starts at uh, 6 am right exactly exactly okay sorry i am the i am joined today onwards only okay okay no i problem. will send yeah okay yes, yesterday can... yesterday only you have started uh, training right yes yes no yes, problem yes. we have recorded video of yesterday class we will share it and that okay. is very basic class okay uh, yes okay you okay. uh, the class tomorrow is saturday uh, we have class yes okay uh, and guys tomorrow we are discussing about user interface tomorrow in tomorrow class we are discussing about user interface okay there we will see the navigational element and if anybody not created service now instance in tomorrow section also i will show you how to create a service now instance okay thank you all thank you so much bye bye